Today I'm going to teach you how to fix pops, dropouts, stutters, or any kind of lag in audio or video. Uh, now this is assuming all your hardware is up to date and everything's good with your hardware. This has to do with latency. Uh, so I'm going to explain what happened to me. So about three weeks ago I was installing a new 3.0 USB card in my computer and after I installed it, all my audio it was poppy every few seconds it would just stop it only stopped for like a millisecond but it was still kind of annoying same thing with my my video especially when i was playing some fairly heavy heavily controlled graphics so the thing i figured out the problem with mine was the storage controller drivers and the particular driver was the sort port .sys. so if that's the driver you're having issues with watch this and i'll show you how to fix it however this is my problem most people don't have this problem the problems they have are with their power settings with cpu power cpu management settings uh, usb adaptivity settings and firewall settings so i'm going to show you how to do all this so first off the first thing i did that brought me to actually learn what was going on was i downloaded something called dpc latency checker now there's a link in the description to this uh this software so basically, I don't really know what latency is, but I do know that these bars are green, which is good. That means your computer's running smoothly. However, before when I had this problem, all the bars were up here in the red, and you'd have one red bar, and then you'd have like three green bars and one red bar, and every time we had that red bar, that was latency, and my audio would pop or crack, and it was really annoying. So if you download this, it's super simple to install. And there's red bars, you know you have a latency problem. But it doesn't really show you anything. So then you have to download this software called Latency Mod. Mon. And in the description below, there's a link to this one as well. So this one, instead of showing bars, because it technically still has a bar, but this shows you the latency of your current position. Now, there's a lot of stuff here, but that's not really important. The important part is right here. This is the driver that's causing the most problems. So when I had my problem, this bar was all the way over here and it was red. And right here it said uh, sortport.sys. The problem is that is a sub driver in the deep windows file. It is not a driver on device driver, on the on device manager. But with some research I figured out which devices this sub driver affected. And it affects the controller subsets. So, you open up your device manager, open up storage controllers, and this right here was the driver that I had issues with. What I had to do is I had to download a new driver and install it. Now I had downloaded an older driver and installed it, and it worked great. So what I had to do is I clicked the update driver button, and instead of clicking the search automatically, I clicked browse my computer, I selected the file I downloaded and I click next. After that I reset my computer, I mean restarted my computer and everything worked great. I do have to mention I actually reset my computer before this because that was the only thing I could think of and it didn't work. So these driver problems can even go through a reset. Uh, so that's how you fix it if it is a problem with the sort port driver. However, there's a lot of other videos that explain how to do this in a much simpler way. Uh, they didn't work for me, but I'm going to show you what they did. So they changed their power settings. So here we're in the power editing section under hardware sound, power options, and edit plan settings. So they come here and click change advanced power settings. Uh, the first thing you can try to change is USB settings. This needs to be disabled. If it's enabled, it means your computer will shut down your USB every once in a while to save power. So if you disable that, your USB will always be running, you'll lose a little, you'll, but you will lose a little bit of power. So you have to choose which one you think is best. The next one is the processor power management. So here, under this, under minimum processing state, this says 5% normally. So pretty much you're telling your computer it can run at 5% if it wants to. But by changing it to 95 or even 100, it has to run faster. And those solve the problems. Uh, you can also just reset your, you can also uh, turn off your firewall if you want. And I've never done that, but it might work. 
So I hope that was useful, guys. And I hope you guys can fix your problem. Have a great day, guys.